ਸਤਿ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਦਿਸ ਲੈਕਚਰ ਇਸ ਬੇਸਡ ਔਨ ਦ ਸਟੱਡੀ ਐਂਡ ਐਨਾਲਿਸਿਸ ਆਫ ਦ ਲੈਂਗੁਏਜ ਆਫ ਦ ਆਦੀ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਔਰ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਇਨ ਦਿਸ ਪ੍ਰੋਜੈਕਟ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਟ੍ਰਾਂਸਕ੍ਰਾਈਬਡ ਦ ਐਂਟਾਇਰ ਟੈਕਸਟ ਆਫ 1430 ਪੇਜਸ ਵਾਈਲ ਟ੍ਰਾਂਸਕ੍ਰਾਈਬਿੰਗ ਫੋਨੈਟਿਕਲੀ ਵੀ ਰੀਅਲਾਈਜ਼ਡ that that there are a number of phonetic problems the language of the adi granth is the language of the 15th and 16th century naturally the vowel structure the morphological structure the way the words are formed grammatically morphologically is quite different from that of modern punjabi to begin with i would like to present my colleague and collaborator professor mukhtar singh gill who uh, helped me and we discussed for hours the problems of pronunciation of this language uh, as a result we have produced these two volumes Okay. and uh, uh, if we see uh, the this is how uh, the transcription looks hmm? so that is just a to show that we there are two uh, huge volumes uh, and each uh, in this transcription uh, the pages correspond to the pages of the guru granth sahib now i begin with Uh, the uh, the presentation of this uh, problem the main issue is obviously the that of the uh, vowels the vowel structure of uh, 15th and 16th century punjabi is quite different this is uh, shown in a, a composition of guru ramdas which is uh, very popular which it is uh, uh, read recited at the time of uh, marriages and in this very small composition of few lines we encounter a very large number of problems of this language for example you will see that in the beginning vya hoya mere babula there is an onkar babula is written with an onkar with a short vowel then you go further and there vya hua hua mere babola then there is a hoda bola is not babula then further in the following line there is again babula with a short vowel babola onkar then you have another word sohandi and this word sohandi with sasa the sa has an onkar the short short u in the very second line the same word sahurde khari sohandi there is a hoda there is a o sohandi see the first is sohandi the other is sohandi just like babula and babola then again there is so hindi then uh, you continue and then you have in the last line ba bola with the o hoda and and so hindi now this so hindi has this on sasa there are two vowels on the on the top there is a hoda o and underneath there is uh, onkar short u so and then following there is a babula again which is uh, uh, with an onkar what it means is in in one small composition the same word has several spellings short vowel o long sort of bit long vowel o babula babula again then you have uh, the same kind of thing sohandi sohandi 
and again babola and babola and then also the problem of two vowels on the same consonant. Now, there are uh, different interpretations. Uh, there is uh, my interpretation would be that at that time in the Gunkhi orthography, there was no vowel which was between O and O. And so, uh, one has to pronounce it this way. Anyway, apart from this very complicated uh, uh, problem, uh, the others are fairly clear. The only thing is that one has to pronounce, you see, uh, what I propose is fairly simple that try to read the Granth, the Gurbani very slowly, carefully and follow the vowels, especially the vowels. There are short vowels, there are long vowels, there are uh, uh, I mean different, different vowels which are very close to sometimes o, o, u, u and you have to go through that. The only, uh, they are fairly actually the apart from the fact that one has to be careful about a few uh, discrepancies, the variations. The other, other point is simply that uh, you, you read as it is written. You see, for example, uh, there is a the question of short a uh and long a, uh, and here you have in the first line a kara, and then nirankar a kar. You see, there is a, uh, a kar and a kar, and uh, you have a, a radya, and then a radya, and you have salahi salahi. Okay. Now, what is the difference? Why these uh, vowels are short and long? Speci specifically, in this case, is generally a question of uh, emphasis, stress. It is a question of intonation. You have uh, salahi, and then when you want to emphasize, uh, then you make it salahi. You see, so it is a it's a question of intonation, but it has to be be followed. You see, the uh, if uh, uh, Guru Granth Sahib is our Guru, Gurbani is what is in the, in the, in the Granth Sahib and the, if you want, if you respect Gurbani, if you pay proper side, you must uh, uh, follow uh, uh, the way it is written, the way it is supposed to be pronounced. Obviously, this language is not the language of uh, 20th century, it is a language of uh, 15th, 16th century, it is practically 500 years old language and it has a different uh, vowel structure. But this, these, these uh, differences are important. You see this for example, man nirmal vase sach soe, then you have sach vase, sachi sabka, then there you there are, there are a lot of problems also. You see for example, uh, after sach there is vase, you see mostly uh, in modern Punjabi it will be vase, you see. So, a, this this combination of vowel, this uh, a, this uh, uh, diphthong is a very common thing. But for the time being, we stick to a uh, a. Uh, uh. You have kish roop nahi, kish jat nahi, kish tangna mera. Now we cannot say that this is just a, this is just for nothing. After all, this text is composed under the supervision of Guru Arjan and by Pai Gurdas, both for highly erudite uh, scholars and uh, the way they have presented the language, we must respect it uh, if we want to follow Gurbani. And also the question is that if you want to understand a text, we must be able to first of all follow how it is articulated, you see form and content, every form corresponds to a, a, a given content. If we, if our reading is not right, then obviously our understanding cannot be right. See? And uh, unfortunately, what is what happens is that we read any way we like, but we do not follow. Uh, obviously, all our commentaries are based on uh, a misreading of the text. So naturally, uh, our our understanding of the text cannot be so good, so uh, so correct. I mean, it cannot be. Uh, we cannot follow the follow Gurbani properly. Now here is very important. Na na na. It's very frequent that sometimes na there is no vowel or short vowel, 
and the other nana ka na that is long vowel. You see, tere gur sabha ev na paya na neda na dur. See, the first na is short vowel, the, the other two na's are long vowel. Now, generally the significance is fairly clear na na, which is neither nor. You see, it is a neither nor nor, I mean, it is neither this nor that nor that. But when you say this uh, the second time or the, or the third time, then you emphasize this. This is, this is a, a, a matter of uh, uh, n na. You, you should realize, for example, in this line, nanak kaman sada sohagan na per mara n jaye. And then there is another line, per ka mahal n pavai na dise karbar. In the first na is a, with na is with a long vowel, the second na is a short vowel. In the second line, the first na is a short vowel and the second is with long vowel. So, uh, obviously, uh, reading of this is becomes complex, difficult, but there is no way out. The, the reader must read every word where, where there is a long vowel, it should be pronounced long where there is a short vowel, it should be pronounced short. Obviously, uh, it takes time, the, there is no way out except to read it carefully and slowly. You see, you running through the text is not, a, not the solution as uh, unfortunately is the uh, tradition in our uh, uh, reading. Okay? And then there is a, uh, there are so many examples like uh, Anand and anand, anad, anad. You see, you have uh, generally our readers uh, keep on saying anand, anand, anand. It is not so. You see, there are Brahm Gyani ke gar sada anand and suk saj anand. You see, then, then, then there is no nasal also, anad, there is no tipi, anad. And there is a second line, there is anad suk pet. You see, there are four forms of uh, what what is supposed generally called anand, uh, but, but it is wrong. You cannot each if each time you 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 pronounce it as anand, uh, it is simply wrong. I mean that is uh, you are this is uh, actually disrespect to uh, Gurbani. Then the same thing is with ta. You see you have ta and ta. Sometimes ta is with with a long vowel and sometimes ta with a short vowel. And the difference between the two is like in uh, in uh, na na is neither nor in ta ta is th then and and then you see if the, the without ta without a uh, long vowel it is it is then then this happens and then it is with ta it is and then what happens you see it is it is emphasized uh, and in any case they are different I mean the thing is if the first is ta the other is ta okay? and you have uh, and then there are uh, for example apna and apna you see apna you see you have apna now aap japai and then there is apna these are in in the case of uh, this vowel there are uh, um, this this is what you have to do now you have distinction of uh, a a uh, uh, and a you see like for example is, here you have bet, petit sang ram gun rave par brahm ki darga you see g h there is no there is no other vowel there is only short vowel and the second sarv nidan mein har naam nidan jap nanak darga you see you have a you have a sari uh, before h right? so this these are two different words you see and with different significance you see and they must be articulated uh, differently. Now, you have a very interesting uh, situation that in Japji, uh, we have have be such nanak hosi be such, but the, when the same uh, line is repeated in Sukhuni, you have have be such nanak hosi be such. You see, in the case of Japji, the vowel is long, in the case of uh, so, for me, the vowel is short and there are naturally there are reasons why it is, it is not done for nothing. There are uh, several, several problems, uh, you see. 
uh, and you are, this is example from Jabji and from uh, uh, and there are several cases where this kind of thing happens. Dar kuch kucha kar gaye avar bih chalan haar. Then, then uh, klo masajini jaye si likhya bhi nare jaye. See this is a uh, you have short e and you have a long e and this is uh, the way it is. Now, this is even more complex and more frequent and more uh, wrong pronunciation with wrong pronunciation that we have all the time. See you have Nanak Soi Sevye Sevye Jit Sevye Dukh Jai. The Nanak that one is served you see uh, worshipped or uh, respected Jit Sevye you see to whom service you see it, by doing service to whom then uh, you are relieved of uh, sufferance. In any case, these two words have two different significances. And yes, and sevye is much uh, less frequent in, in the language of the Adi Granth than sevye. You see the, the sevye type uh, yeah. You see this yeah diphthong, the combination of two vowels, two short vowels, yeah one short and one long vowel is very, very common. For example, again Satgur Sevye, you see and then Satcha Saheb Sevye, you see there are two different and it, they should not be read Sevye, Sevye all the time as uh, most of the Granthis uh, uh, do, you see and you have the whole thing, there is the Again the same kind of thing you have Sunye, you have Sunye and you have Sunye. You see, Sunya Siddh Peer Sonath. It is not Sunya Siddh Peer Sonath. You see, you have a Nana and Sayari, and there is a Dulai on, on Ada. You see, the first is Sunya Siddh Peer Sonath. And then you have Gaviya Sunya Man Rakhiya Pao. You see, the both are uh, in, uh, in, in Japji. Okay? But there are two different forms of vowel and this these uh, this vowel structure must be respected. Okay? I mean Shuddh part is, uh, uh, is uh, one of the most sacred uh, duty of the uh, of the devotees you see and uh, Shuddh part is by definition uh, it is sacrilege. You see there is no other way if it were an ordinary text one you can say you know you should correct it and this is how you should read it. But here it is a very serious affair that uh, we should uh, follow you see look, you have sunya siddh peer sunnat sunya and then you have you see this this whole pa this whole passage i mean this whole composition shabd there is always sunya 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 you see so you you can you can see how this a is repeated and this this is very important now the same kind of thing happens in lot of other situations like bisarya you see bisarya petya Lagya, Mundaya, you see, so this is a, this is a fairly, this A combination of vowels is a fairly frequent combination which is uh, in technically called diphthong, that means a combination of two vowels. You see, this combination of two vowels is pronounced as one vowel. You see, the duration of vowel is, is the same. Milya, uh, Manya, Milya, you see how many uh, cases are there. You have Another situation like short e, e and then a. This also creates lot of problems. J, J. You see now it is a very clear difference between, between the two even in, in the case of you see the pronunciation obviously is clear J and the other is J and you will have later other uh, examples like C, C. This that comes in Sukhuni in the very beginning. You see the first is uh, C and the other is say. You see the say is they are, you see o, o son they are and j if, you see that is a two here also. One is a, is a more stable j, j away and the other is if that, if that. See there is a, I mean these are differences of nuances small but then uh, you have, uh, you have these problems. Then this is you have in uh, M Gurbani 
this this difference between a that with la and with the CRE. You see, you will have sometimes hue with the haha onkar and you have a hue and you have hue. You see, now this is very frequent or jaye, you see, and jaye. You see, these forms, you see, this is past tense. Whenever it's a hue, ho gya. You see, hue. If this is this is the infinitive or present, and this form, and there are two different. You see, there are two different vowels. This is a, like you say, this is a, and this is a shorty. E. See, this is shorty. E. You see, and this is a. In I mean, in in our phonetically speaking, this is a. This is a. You see, and they cannot be pronounced the same way. This is hue. This is hue. Jaye. Jai. See, and this this is very important because it, this distinction is very very frequent in Gurbani. Uh, see, the one uh, a is uh, generally refers to a statement of past. Uh, it's done. It's stated. It is there. And the other is uh, uh, mostly infinitive and something like that. You see, uh, or non past. You know, the better is that it is not very clear what happened. Like. Uh, like, like in so many languages, see, the past is always clear, the present and infinitive are not very clear like you know he you can say he leaves or he is going, leaves or he leaves tomorrow that also means you know with present you can use also for uh, future. Uh, so, this is also j and j jo har kan milaiya se this is se so se and se are short vowel which should kate the jai 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 again is with short vowel again this jinni chakya prem rasa now this is se you see it is not se you see and agai you see the the problem is which is this is a very serious problem that in the same line you have a you have the same uh, letter with the with short vowel and with the with the long vowel with long vowel now this distinction must be made if guru arjan has uh, guru arjan and pai gurudas have presented this uh, text in this form this form has to be respected you see there is a short vowel it's a short vowel if it's a long vowel it's a long vowel we cannot uh, uh, you cannot uh, pronounce uh, uh, every time say say or jai jai, it is not jai jai. You see, it is, this vowel is not jai, it is jai, it is not agai, it is agai. You see, there is a, uh, when, when the vowel is short, it is short. There is, there is no, uh, no solution and nothing you can do. Prabhuko simra se bemota je. Prabhuko simra se sukhwasi. They are two and if, if Guru Arjan and Pai Gurdas, especially Guru Arjan in this case, because it is his composition, he has used two different vowels. So, he has used the, them for, for some purpose, and the purpose is always significance, signification, there is no other purpose. You see, Kai quote Hoe Pujari, Pasareo Ap Hoe, Hoe Anant Trang. And then after that, you have Upaye Nipjaye. If, you see, if, if one is hoe and the other is upaye or hoe or hoe, first hoe and the other is hoe. This is extremely important because it is very, very frequent in, in, the, in, in the text of Gurbani. You see this, uh, you have jai, rai. See, this is an introduction to our book and all this is written. It is already put, we have put it in, uh, in the website archives, uh, archive.org. Uh, you can read the whole thing. I mean, you know, this is why I will not uh, go through everything because it is all there. The main point is, if the vowel is short, it is short. It must be pronounced as short. And if the vowel is long, it is long. It must be pronounced long. There, are, there is a uh, for each. Generally, the uh, i a uh, refers to past tense, and uh, i refers to. Uh, infinitive or present. It is very clear. There is no no question about it. Milamaneya mela. See this 
A and A is very frequent. For example, here you have mil ammonia. See, mama, there is a shari, and then the same composition you have mil ammonia. Uh, uh, there is a la. You see, uh, this is a, uh, this the difference between two uh, is uh, is very clear, and it is it is there. And then there is also a and a in the same line, the, the same utterance. You have the first ape with la and the second ape with dulaya. Jo kish kare so ape ape bud sianab kishu na jape. It is not jape. Most of the uh, ragis or singers generally pronounce ape ape. I have heard it in the best of the places in the most sacred. Uh, institutions, the the ragi simply don't bother about uh, the differences between a and a, uh, which is absolutely wrong. Not only wrong, it is sacrilege because it is a question of gurbani. You see, you cannot uh, like I have heard them jaye, jaye, they pronounce jaye, they 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 always uh, pronounce it as uh, jaye. I mean, this doesn't work. You see, this is a uh, you see one is ape and ape he. You see, it, this is you see the first ape is ape, the second ape is is uh, this is a this is a question of intonation and stress. The first ape, the second is ape he. You see, this is uh, uh, that is the different uh, thing. You have uh, the same thing pane and pane. See, tere pane which amrit vasa tu pane amrit piva manya. You understand the point? The first is pane and the other is pane pane he. It is not that the, the dulaiya is there for nothing. Dulaiya is a, is a, it is a marker of stress, uh, intonation and uh, it, is, uh, it is important. I mean after all, when you write he in for example, normal Punjabi, which means you are, you are emphasizing them, it is, it is, not, it is not for nothing. Okay? Now, you have K and K, this is also very frequent. You have harke charn hirda basava. And the uh, earlier earlier is Gurke Bachan Racha Nam Kairang. You see, so there is a K Kair. Uh, this A A uh, is very important. Mere Mera. Mm, this is a, uh, and in each case there is a difference. There is a difference of significance, and that significance in such cases there are other cases which have other significances, but in such cases it is generally a matter of. Uh, uh, emphasis like sajje gavya thai pave bin sajje kathani bad sajje and sajje he that is a, so so the 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 first uh, uh, the first and second they are two two different vocables they are two different vowels I mean calls, uh, uh, words and they have two different uh, meanings now you have uh, these number of uh, differences you have a short e a and v you see you have kai kot hoe pujari then pasreo aap hoe it's not hoe you see then sa se sian pan lak hoe to ikan chale naal gawe ko taan hoe you understand you have hoe 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 there are several forms several sort of dialects interacting with each other, but they are a part of the same language. This is very important that they have been incorporated in the same language by Guru Arjan and Pai Gurdas and uh, this is also the language of the, of the religious discourse. It is not just any language, it is language of the religious discourse of that uh, uh, period. So, you for example, you have Sumaye, Swaye, Sumahe, Sumave. The same kind of thing. You see, you see there is a pattern also. A, 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 A. You see, this is a, this is not just once in a while it happens, so you can ignore them. You cannot ignore them because this is very frequent and this frequency is not for nothing. See, such a naam soi jan pae, then man banshat nanak fal pae, and then tere gun ane kimat na pae. You see, you, you have the like smahe, pae, hohe. You have, and then this is also a very serious problem. A and a. You see, you have nam, okhud, soi, jan, pawe. Then you have bin har pagat kaha, thit, pawe, pawe, pawe. 
You see, one is power, one is uh, uh, brave, and the other is obviously. Uh, and it is a question of emphasis, a question of stress. It it uh, it, uh, it reinforces the significance of the earlier. You see, jinke naam vasai man mahe tithe pagut vasai ke lo. You see, this is Guru Nanak. You see, you have in Japji. Now this is the, you will see this jo jatud pawe ta kare bhuta singi nad vujave. Jatud, now you have the first was Jatud Pawe, the second is now Jatud Pawe, you see, Ta uh, uh, Ta Pare Kateba Mula Seh Kahave, then again jo, Jatud Pawe, not Pawe, Pawe, Ta Hove, you see again Hove, Raje Raskat Bot Kamave, Jatud Pawe. Take Vagave continuously. The distinction between A and A. You see, and in the same like Jinke Ram, Jinke Ram Vasa Manmahe Tithe Pagd Vasa. A and A. This is a very continuous distinction and it is made continuously. This cannot be ignored. You cannot say that, oh, it's different. Oh, Guru Nanak just, ja, Guru Arjan just wrote, Pai Guru Das just wrote that. You see, if they are, they are very, they were very careful writers. I mean, they knew what they were doing. And if they have written uh, uh, A, it is A. And if it is written A, it is A. You cannot, uh, you have to pronounce the way it is transcribed, it is written by, you see, you, do you have uh, the same thing all over the place. Panch Chele Vas Ki Jai. Ravel a man ki ye. You see, there is a ki eh and eh. See, gave tonu pon pani be center. The first is gave, the, the second is gave raja taram dwara. The first is so you have uh, you have pawe, pawe, visra, visra, japa, japa. You see, sant prasad, japa, har nao, and then japa, har sarang pani. The distinction between a and a is an extremely important distinction in the language of the 16th century uh, Punjabi or 16th century language of the of the Adi Granth because it is not just any Punjabi it is the it is the language of the religious discourse it's a it's a very uh, I mean it, it is not a dialect it is not just a uh, uh, you know very personal uh, affair uh, it is uh, uh, it has been composed very uh, consciously, seriously. You see, uh, the, if there is a difference between a and a, uh, it is its difference is important, uh, and it is uh, you have to kariya, kariya. You see, you, kete barme kardat kariya, and then you have kardat kariya, kariya twice, mm, uh, thrice in the, in this composition. You have then e e and e. See, this is also quite interesting that uh, you have lak chaurasi and then there is also lak chaurasi e and e the same kind of thing you see there is a e e you see the there are this is, uh, is a pattern i mean this pattern uh, uh, is a pattern of this language and uh, you, are, you there is no way out now this is another very interesting uh, phenom vowel phenomena in in this uh, language of the Adigranth. You see, it is a and a. You see, you have in the very first they. See, you already have uh, they. You see, this is a, this is very very. Uh, uh, this is also quite frequent. You have they already they. And then you add they, you see, and you will have there are so many of uh, you will see you see that this this is a fairly kare. You see, there are several uh, you see they lay kare. Now, what happens is that even uh, today, uh, you see, the if we discuss you know, Punjabi is a tone language, it has tones, there are three tones, high, low. And mid, you see, like like charda, tur, charda is a high tone. Turda is a mid tone, and 
pa you like pa pa and pa these are three four things now now the, the problem with tones is that tone phonetically is disyllabic it begins from one vowel and it goes to the other it is it is a, it is like that you see there are two vowels here now the writers or those uh, uh, speakers or writers of the 16th century language especially pai gurudasan they realized that it it doesn't stop here they it is they le kare see there is a, and they noted this difference you see this is a this is this is a very remarkable feature of this writing as far as i am concerned that at that time they took note of the movement of the rhythm rhythm of uh, of the of the tonal system of punjabi language so you have they in in this in this short uh, shabd and written by by guru nanak so it is 15th 16th century at the most you see you have they kre tre de kre kre de le this you have to pronounce it de you cannot just say de because why why e and sir e is added it is it is a, it is a this is the, the combination of two vowels you see it's a combination of two vowels you see it is and it this is how it is a see, this is a uh, this is and it's a very uh, very serious a very important i think is a very important contribution also in orthography in the orthography of uh, the language of uh, guru granth sahib this is in a in a way this is very important the orthography of the adi granth is fairly close sometimes very close to the phonetic realization of our words which is not at all uh, the case in the writing of modern punjabi because we have we there is the correspondence between articulation and uh, uh, writing uh, is is uh, of very different type and these differences are noted you see de kre 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 you see you have kra kra you see you have the like a a that we have already seen you see you, see, you have bikha ke kra and then pagat kra you see a and uh, a and then you have so there are there are the same word so supposedly the same word actually it is not the same word this it is this supposedly the same word has a number of forms and in with each form there is a there is a difference of significance you see this you have to study and you have to follow now this is a very important uh, this is the beginning of uh, literally of sukhuni and the very beginning of sukhuni unfortunately is it is not pronounced properly it is the most uh, unfortunate thing you see and why because this is a, this is again the problem of that our uh, 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 our parties or our those who read who, who recite the granth they they don't uh, take uh, they don't pay enough attention to the vowel structure now you say ad gur a now you must realize that there is this is this is a very important and also important for the simple fact that now what is what is here how would you transcribe it you have gur this is a you see this is a you see short vowel and a for example just like you see this is just like gay you see or le you see if you say re gay it will be re re you see it is not you see it is not gure you see if it is not gure you see if uh, because there is no la here so it is not gure so it you cannot call it pronounce it as gure it is gur a it is you cannot pronounce even at gur and a because there is always a short vowel like that like gay you see it is the same same pattern gay le gure you see this is and obviously it is very very in one sense it is very difficult 
because uh, uh, it does not follow the pattern of modern Punjabi. But on the other hand, it is very, it is the most important. You see the beginning of Sukhmani, which is so important, uh, uh, a composition for the six. And if we mispronounce the very, big, very beginning of that uh, thing, obviously this is, a, this is horrible. You see, and you have Gurae, uh, and this again, again, uh, Gurae. This is so many times it is repeated. And then you have some other example uh, from Dekhe, Dekhe, Lekhe, Aave. You see, Aave normally, this is very interesting that uh, most of the people Aave pronounce properly. Hardly anybody would pronounce it Aave or Aave, Aave or something like that. You see, here or like there is a, you know, later on there is a word Paave, you see, in very same thing like Gure, Gure, you see, Paave. Now, almost all Punjabis pronounce Pawe, which is true, which is a correct, which is a correct pronunciation. But unfortunately, it is not fo followed. They do not realize that the, the phonetic pattern of this uh, word Pawe is exactly the same as that of Gure. You see, it is Lay, A. You see, this, this, and even the, uh, you see, Pawe or Rawe, you know, these two words are pronounced without any problem or pawe, rave, fine. But then when it comes to other like sadare, sare, you see karaj, karan, karan, samrath, siridhar, aap karaj, sare, okay. we will all pronounce sare or something like that sare, it is sare and it is a and obviously it is a, it is a, a difficult uh, I mean, pronunciation for the modern Punjabi speakers. but. Uh, Guru Arjan and so they are not bothered about it. You see, you, they, it is the Gurbani is there, and uh, in all uh, traditions of religious discourse, the religious texts uh, uh, have their own pronunciation and own their language, and the, and, uh, the devotees uh, should uh, follow that. Now you have Le, uh, He, Tire, Purpure. You see, these, these are uh, you have Bikhai. Uh, you see, this is not Bihi. This is this is bikhai, you see. For example, oh bikhai, you see between you see the bihari is not on khakha, you see. So it is bik and and e. You cannot say bik e. It is bikhai. See the same same pattern i. You see i a. You see this is a uh, this bik bikhai bikhai. You see you see like uh, um, and this goes on. I mean. And then you have, see this prolongation of the vowel, like you have, see, after G, then you have Ada also, G, see, Gurka Bachan, G ke sang, you see, like Surg, Pyal, Mirt, Poo, see, it is not just after Poo, there is Ada, you see, this is a, it is G, Poo, this is, uh, uh, this follows the uh, tonal uh, structures of Punjabi language, uh, nothing else, nothing now, you see, so, Mera ho ho, I mean, and then you have long short vowels, obviously, sok, sook, uh, that is upje, 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 for example, you naam har upje, and the other is upje. So, wherever there is a o, u short long vowel, then we should pronounce that. O, u, you have so, you see, jo aya, so chalsi, amar so, gur karta. See, these two uh, vowels, first is so, the other is so. And so the same thing, jo is mare so vad so vad paga, jo is mare so andan jaga. You see, there are, there are two, and it is a matter of uh, obviously emphasis, this is intonation, but uh, it cannot be ignored. You see, you see we, you, for example, you have jo so and jo so. You see, you, there are uh, like you, same thing, I mean, gupal and gopal. You see, like babola and babola, uh, so they, if they, it is so, it's a, it, it has to be like sohagan and sohagan, and this goes on. You see, babola, uh, you already have seen, you see, this uh, which we already discussed in the very beginning in this composition, which is very popular in, at the uh, occasion of marriage. Yeah, babola and babola, suhandi, sohandi. So, wherever it is babola, it should be pronounced as babola, and where it is babola, it should be pronounced as babola. And the same thing with 
either it is so handi or it is so handi. Uh, now, uh, is it difficult to pronounce? Of course, it is very difficult to pronounce. Not, I mean, in fact, it is not so difficult to pronounce. The only thing is, one has to uh, read uh, the text very slowly and very carefully, and then most of the time you end up uh, uh, pronouncing fairly well. Now, then there are uh, this issue of uh, like Sohandi and that, there are issue of two vowels, uh, generally U, U, uh, Onkur and uh, Hura on the same uh, consonant, and there are a uh, number of examples Sohandi, Dwale. Jolaha, Gobind, Gopal, Gopala, see Dohagan, you see Sohagan. So, the here the solution is there is a very difficult like Jaya and Jaya. You see the point is that why Jaya and Jaya is difficult. You see why Jaya and Jaya is difficult. You see this is a, a and this this is a short e because you see both the vowels exist in Punjabi in modern Punjabi also, but short e never occurs in the final position in modern Punjabi. You see in modern Punjabi it is i, so we pronounce jaye jaye because in the in the final position uh, there is uh, there is never we don't know, we don't have. A, See the vowels do not occur even if you have two vowels uh, they do not occur in the same positions, but in the Punjabi of the 16th century 15th 16th century there is very frequently the short short vowel you see the short e it is not so in modern Punjabi in modern Punjabi we we do not have short u or short e in the final position this is why we end up pronouncing a a okay? but it is wrong. Uh, when you are pronouncing uh, and the question of short and so handi is another uh, that is uh, the two vowels when you have uh, now this is a question of and this is a vowel this is see this is this is as a matter of fact what happens is this vowel this is there is a vowel it is not that there is a vowel but this vowel is uh, between ah uh, you see o and O. So, it is a, it is a kind of a uh, you can say uh, you can you see phonetically write like this also I mean to make it distinct this is this is in between the two this is O and this is O this is O you see this is in between uh, I mean uh, phonetically speaking there is O higher vowel lower vowel O and there is a third vowel you can say it is it is a it is a vowel which is which is like this o o o you see this is this is neither this nor this but in between the two which is which is fairly frequent in this language because this is not a is not one or two examples there are several examples not very frequent but frequent enough now you have you have simro, simro, simr, sukhpavo, something like that. Now, it is, now you see this is in the very beginning you have a katho that is a o, then katho, it is fairly, a, 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 it is very what is not uh, stated, kathana to state, what a katho, a uh, that is negative, you see, negation, what is not, it, it should be stated. Katho, you see, it is imperative O, and then it is O. You see, this is Katho and Simro. You see, this is a, this is again. Uh, one has to follow the patterns. You see, you see, or Katho, same thing. You see, now Simro, it is, it is not. You see, there is no this or this. It cannot. It is not Simro. Or simro, it is o, just like ho. You see, you have ho. You see how you pronounce this? You pronounce it as ho. So it is ro, sim ro, simur karo. You see, you should simur. You see, one is simran. Simran is a noun. This is a verb. Simro. You see, and but the the point here is that it here. 
it is oh it is a diphthong you see this is a this is two short vowels oh oh you see oh oh and this is how you see when you pronounce ho it is very clear you have to pronounce simra exactly like you pronounce ho and this is also a very very frequent uh, vowel combination in in gurbani you see the language of the uh, you have uh, you can have different you see like gund dato nirmalo nirmalo there is o and there is o they are two different things you see toharo you see like for example you see uh, the same uh, toharo that is very clear on there is a hoda on uh, on ra hodo udaro but simra there is no, there is no hoda on ra 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 you see it is ra uda unkar o pavao mitavao you see it is you see this whole line simrao simr simr sukh pavao kal klesh tan mahe mitavao it is not mitavao and it is very clear because after two three lines you have this ka ki ek dars tuharo you see and mohe udaro you see now udaro tuharo is very clear o o whereas it simro simro i mean if guru arjan wanted to say, pronounce it as simro or simra they could have put either uh, either hoda or kanoda like uh, katho there all the all the vowel uh, they uh, 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 signs are there like gun dato nirmalo you have kanoda you have hoda in here uh, he could use any but pai gurdas did not use use it it is o oh, like ho so at it at it fairly fair it's a very common uh, vowel combination and it must be pronounced properly simra pavo you see mitavo and very interesting like that pavo mitavo are always pronounced correctly there is hardly any any there is not be pronunciation but somehow i don't know why simra it is not pronounced it, it is it is simro everybody is simro simro uh, but it is they are difficult you see like, like, there are so many namo see jano bukhano you see it is not bukhano in bukhano and uh, then you have uh, well, this is quite uh, uh, common uh, you have uh, either a cluster of kripa you see ra and ka and ra together or kripa separate so there are uh, there are two and uh, whenever uh, see the, this is uh, one is a more uh, classical form the other is a more modern form but in any case both forms are there and they have to be pronounced as such you have to when it is kripa it is kripa and when it is kripa it's kripa See, there is there is you no know, just like kripal and kirpal you you have this you see you understand it is very interesting in the same guru guru arjan on the same page of of uh, the granth you have kirpal and you have kripal uh, like the same in the same in the same uh, uh, utterance you have birtha and then britha so the first it is britha and the second is britha uh, and it should be pronounced uh, as such you see like param and pram You see, sarb and srab, they are uh, they are numerous examples, and uh, uh, you see you have prani and prani. See prani even with the with the na, you see, uh, which we will see later. Now this is also this is a is a little difficult, but then all the same whether it's difficult or not, we have to pronounce. For example, this 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 word amrit, which is very common word. In uh, in our religion, in our vocabulary of the Granth, but you must realize that Ra is not separate. You see, like Kripa, you see it is a uh, Mrit, uh, separate, and then Mrit Krip. You see, like Ra is uh, like is under K, you it becomes Krip, Kripa. And the same thing here, Mrit, a uh, Mrit. Amrit by the etymology, clearly you know, Amrit means uh, immortal. Amrit, uh, Mrtu is uh, uh, who dies, uh, and Amrit that means uh, immor immortal. Uh, you see the same thing. We have Simrit. It's not Simrit, uh, and so and you have Prasan. See then you have Dukrit, Sukrit. You see you cannot say Dukrit, Sukrit. And I have seen they keep on saying Dukrit, Sukrit. You see you have Besram. 
sram, mudra, sangre, sangre. See, it is not sangre, brahm. Wherever it is brahm, it is brahm. Where one it is that, so murat. You see, uh, you see, we must uh, uh, follow. Uh, wherever there is a cluster, it is a cluster where there is no cluster means the two or two consonants are put together, they are should be pronounced as one one vowel, one consonant. Krit, it is there is no vowel in between. In Amrit, there is a see am is separate, rit is separate. Where is a mrit, then there is no there is no pause, there is no vowel in between. And then you have this another very serious problem of the TP. Okay? Then you for example normally uh, in phonetically speaking, you do not need any TP when you, when you have na, it is automatically uh, the um, uh, preceding vowel is uh, nasalized. But, but here you have tan, tan, you see, there is a, one is tan, the other is tan, where you have a, a TP, then see, it is, it is, uh, it is emphasis. Tan, then this emphasis is you cannot really say how it works. See, like the second line you have tan, tan, then the other line you have. Tan first and tan second, and the other line which comes tan first and the followed by tan, hmm? pun. So uh, these are all uh, uh, the whole idea is whenever there is a vowel short or long, we must pronounce short or long. When there is a, uh, uh, there is when nasalization, we pronounce. For example, here so many times there is a govinda and there is a govida. So. Uh, when there is a nasalization, we should pronounce nasalization. If there is no nasalization, we, we cannot on our own add nasalization. Like anand, you see, you have anand, anand, anad, anand. See, you have uh, these four forms of anand, uh, and they are all over the place in the Gurbani. And we must respect these four distinctions. All I am saying, all I try to tell the audience that please read Gurbani carefully and pronounce the vowel as it is. If it is a short vowel, pronounce it short. If it is long, pronounce it long. If it is e, it is e. If it is a, it is a. It is a, it is a, it is a, it is a. There is and when when there are a and a, they, you have to a. There is a, there are always a, a. There is always a, a, a and a, a, a. You see, visraya, sunya. You know, these are these are important uh, issues and these issues uh, one must uh, follow you see uh, so i i don't want to make this uh, lecture a completely exhaustive lecture to cover all the aspects of uh, uh, the uh, phonologic uh, structure of this uh, 16th century language of the adigant all i wanted to emphasize is that please those who are really interested in Gurbani, who want to pay respect to Gurbani, you please read very slowly and very carefully and try to most of the time it is not a very difficult affair. You have a vowel, it is short, when there is a kanna, it is a, there is no kanna, it is na, 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 ta, ta. Similarly, if it is a, it is a, if it is not a, it is a. You, you should you should follow and if you follow these uh, uh, generally speaking uh, i mean there are some uh, issues which are more complex but uh, i think that uh, uh, one doesn't need a very long and uh, complicated uh, linguistic uh, formation for this pay attention to these few discrepancies few the, these few variations and uh, do a good job slowly and carefully. Uh, unfortunately, why uh, we had to uh, emphasize and we had to concentrate on this is the fact that for the last several hundred years, Gurbani has been mispronounced. You see, even today, when you listen to uh, some kirtan in the best of the Gurdwaras, I mean, it is completely mispronounced. And when the Granth is uh, Take walk for the first reading in the the Granth in the morning. They, you know, they don't pay attention to vowels at all. I mean, they, they just uh, you see they uh, they don't make any distinction between the language of the 15th century and the language of the 60 of the 20th century. No, which, this is unfortunate, and 
uh, all I plead is that uh, and request uh, very humbly that uh, one should those who are serious who think that uh, Gurbani is a very serious affair and its pronunciation, its understanding. Naturally, if the pronunciation articulation is not correct, naturally the understanding because all commentaries will depend upon how you read. You see whether it if you do not make the distinction between uh, uh, past tense and non past, you see, then you cannot. And it is very consistent. For example, the short e, you see, there is a, for example, there is a pagti. You see, when pagti, it is the, the word is in the sense of significance of pagti, there is always the sharit before ta, pagti. And when it is pagat, noun, never. See, it is the patterns in, in the Granth are very uh, <coughs> strict and followed all the way through. Siddhi, when it is a question of Siddhi, then there is a Tadda and Syari. When it is a question of Siddh, never, not even once. You see, in the whole of 14, 30 pages, we have not encountered any discrepancy. So, the language, the way the language is written, transcribed by Pai Gurdas, and as it is published even by Shuramani Gurdwara Pandit community, because we have simply, we have not bothered about some people try to find some uh, discrepancies here and there, but I think they are making, wasting their time. We have simply followed the text as published by SGPC. And we have seen that the vowel pattern, vowel structure of 15th, 16th century of Gurbani is very regular. These patterns are all the way through. Now, now or even once there is any uh, variation for nothing. If there is a variation, there is a purpose. And that purpose is nothing else, nothing other than significance, than meaning, than semantics, than semiotics. Thank you very much. Sat Sri Akal.